Mike here with Flippin' Goodies, and today we're going to take a look at shipping with Walmart using FedEx for our Walmart Canadian account or Canada account. So here's an item that sold today. Uh, it's a Funko Pop, right? So as you can see here, it's waiting for shipment. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to check this off and hit Create Label. Now, why they ask you to fill this in is beyond me, but they're getting one. Um, it's in inches, which is correct. And then these fit in eight by six by four. And the pound is going to go to ounces. And it's going to be 14 ounces to ship that out. And let's generate label. Hopefully this works. It's a little quirky. Okay, label generation fail. Okay, so what I found is if I hit it again, it's going to do the same thing again. Um, so if I wait long enough, this will change, hopefully. Okay, so even though it said it failed, it did generate a label. And here's the label here. Um, so what I want to do is click on this, uh, well, select the product, which again, it's in the same line, so I'm not sure why this is doing that. And then there's what I'm sending, um, the tracking number, and we want to select this label, which again, I'm not sure why it keeps doing this, but whatever. Um, then once we're done there, we're going to confirm that, and then we want to... Um, come here click on that and then we're going to print label print that label and ship it out two days by the way two days from my house to Canada it's a beautiful thing so once we X out of here and go back to our page We're going to update this. And it will show shipped. Shipped with uh, Express via FedEx, right? The tracking number and everything is there. So, shipping with Walmart Canada is <laughs> quirky, but works. Just be patient with it. Um, it's rather easy to do if you're wondering you can print out a label that item is eleven dollars and fourteen cents to ship and we'll be there in two days so I do add that into my price not a great sale but I only have four dollars a little bit under four dollars in all my Funko Pops so at this point I'm just trying to clear out of them and to take that you know take this down it's eleven dollars minus the fee, so yeah, probably eight bucks. So I probably double my money on the Funko Pop. But again, I'm just trying to get rid of them. And Canada seems to be one of the better places for me to to uh, dump some of my uh, Funko Pops. So we'll see how that all works out. Hopefully, you enjoyed today's video. I'll be have I'll have a lot more Walmart videos coming out soon, and we can look at different ways to do different things and how I manage all my inventory throughout all my Walmarts. Walmart US, Walmart Canada, Walmart Mexico. See you next time.